be watching our channel right now, okay? Today I'm going to make beans with garlic and tomato sauce. The ingredients I have a cup of uh, beans, tomato sauce, uh, garlic chopped, salt, coriander, uh, cumin, and a little of black pepper. First, I put a spoon of oil. Then I put the garlic. Now, I put a spoon of tomato sauce. With the spices. Salt, black pepper, coriander, and cumin. Next, I put the beans and leave them in this, in this mixture for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, it's well done. I turn off the heat. I hope you try doing it. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and tell me your opinions about it. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel, Learn Cooking. Uh, today we will learn how to make beans with onions. Ingredients, I have beans. This beans we, I do at home. Uh, you will find the channel how to make beans at home. Tomato sauce, uh, a little of salt black pepper and cumin, uh, one spoon of oil and uh, one onion. I put the oil in saucepan, then I cut the onion into pieces, I chopped it. A very delicious receipt. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I put the onion.
When the color of onion changes its brown color, I stir. In the channel you can find a lot of recipes. Uh, food you can do at dinner, at breakfast. You can find a lot of pickers. Then I bought now. I bought tomato sauce. I bought the spices, salt, cumin, and black pepper. And then I add the pin. With a little of water. I leave them to boil for five minutes to mix all the ingredients together. Five minutes and I will come back. Now the beans is well done. I can decorate the dish of beans with a piece of tomato. I make a flower shape. Like this. I hope you try doing this dish of, uh, of peas. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. You will find it's very nice and delicious. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll learn how to make peas well tahini. This beans I do at home. It's very easy. You will find at the channel how to how to make pizza at home and this tahina also I do at home uh, you can find the video of tahina at the channel I, I get the beans I bought uh, a spoon of oil and a spoon of tahina and a little of salt with cumin and black pepper And mix them together. It's very delicious and very useful. Tahina has useful ingredients. Like this. I hope you try doing this with you. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. I can decorate the dish. With a little of tomato, like this. I hope you try doing this dish. It's very delicious and easy and very useful. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. I hope to know your opinion about the video. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll learn how to do chaps with cheese. I have Turkish cheese. 
and one potato. I peel the potato. After I peel the potato, I have the machine, chips machine. I should do it quickly to have a thin slice of chips. You can see it's very thin. I can do another shape. From the other side, I have this shape. I have this shape. Or like this. This shape the children like the shapes. I will complete the potato and I come again. After I finish cutting the potato into chops, I wash it. Well, now I put uh, an oil on the uh, on the flame and we will yes, fry yes, I put uh, an oil on the flame now it's hot I put the potato one by one to be crispy I leave it for five minutes on the fire. Now the chefs is well done. I get out from the hot oil and put on a tissue, kitchen tissue. Then quickly when the chefs are hot, I put the cheese to have the test. Now, I put the cheese when it's hot. It gives the taste for the potatoes. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and try doing it. Now, chefs with the cheese is ready to eat. If you like the video, subscribe the channel. If you have any comments, please write it. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll do chops with a lemon and a hot uh, pepper. A hot red pepper. I have one potato, I have lemon, I have a hot red potato. I clean, I peel the potato. I hope you try doing this chops at home. It have a nice test.
Then I have the potato machine, chips machine. I move it quickly. Or I do another shape. With this side. I move this like this from the other side I put it and change the side it have a nice shape as you can see it has a nice shape Your children will like this shapes you do. Then I wash the potato. After that, I put a little of chili pepper. Then I, I add the lemon and leave them for 15 minutes, then I fry them. Now I put the hot on the 3, 2, 1. Now I put the oil on the uh, fire. When it became hot, I put the chips one after one. I leave them for five minutes and stir them from all sides. I prepare a kitchen tissue to get out the chops on them. Now the chops is well done. I get out the chops on a kitchen tissue. If you like the chips, subscribe the channel. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and try doing the chips for you and your children. If you do this, your children will like the chips. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll do a delicious recipe which is useful for sandwiches for children. Uh, potatoes with garlic. I have a potatoes, garlic, salt, cumin, curder, black pepper, and hot spices pepper. First, I peel the potato. <coughs> After I peel it, I come again. Next, I cut the potatoes. Into figures. Like this. Medium size. As you follow, I hope you enjoy watching the video and try doing it. You will find so delicious. As you follow me, I cut all the all the potatoes. 
and I will wash, wash it with water. Then I come again. Next, I cut the, the garlic and put all the spices. The channel has a lot of kinds of food, kinds of videos from juice, desserts, a lot of sweets. I hope you enjoy watching all the videos. Then I put the spices, I mix them, then I put all the spices. I mix them with my hand then I put a little of oil and put on a low flame for 30 minutes and I can add a little water just a little of water if the water uh, disappeared I can add uh, again now I put it in a low flame for 30 minutes after that I'll, I'll show at the end the tray of potatoes after it will be done three two one after it became done on the fire on the cooker I put it on the oven to have this beautiful color the potatoes with garlic now it's well done and ready to if you like the video please subscribe the channel i hope you try doing these potatoes you will be you will find it's very nice and delicious thank you welcome everybody in our channel learn the cooking today we'll do a new recipe we'll learn how to fry an eggplant with a, in a healthy way we will make fried eggplant in a healthy way I have one eggplant or aubergine garlic salt hot spice hot chili pepper lemon and cumin I wash the aubergine or the eggplant well I cut this piece then I cut the aubergine. I cut the aubergine with the knife in a medium size. This size is suitable, not big and not small, not thin or not fat. It's a medium size. If you like the video, subscribe the channel. I hope you enjoy watching the videos in the channel and tell me your opinion about them. I try to cook it in a simple way. I cut the eggplant as you follow me. I put them in a plate then I put some salt on uh, on them before I fry it in the oil I put a little of salt on them and leave them in salt for 15 minutes 
After 15 minutes, I come again to fry them. Now I put uh, oil on the flame. The oil became very hot. I put the eggplant to fry. I leave it for 5 minutes. Now I prepared the spices. I put them side. And mix them together. After I mix the spices, I put the lemon juice on them. Like this. I take out the seeds. Now the eggplant is well done. From the two sides. I put them on the kitchen tissue. Now I put these spices on the eggplant. It gives the eggplant a very sweet and a very nice taste. From the two sides. I have a lot of videos in the channel. I hope you're watching the videos and tell me your opinion about some. Now, the dish of eggplant is ready to eat. I hope you enjoy watching the video and try doing it. It's very nice and delicious. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll learn how to make an omelette egg. I have a spoon of butter, an egg, mix of black pepper and salt. I open the egg in a plate. I stir it with a spoon. I put the fire, I put the butter in the fire. After it melts, I put the egg. I hope you try doing this uh, receipt.
Now it's well done. I spread the salt with black pepper. Now it's served. I turn off the fire. If you like an omelette egg, please uh, subscribe to the channel. I hope you tried buying this and I hope you enjoy watching the video. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn My Cooking. Today I'm going to do a aubergine red plant pickle with a special way or a different way. I have tall of plant, I have half lemon, uh, one of a uh, garlic clove, uh, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of the chili, of chili pepper, red chili pepper. First, I put uh, in a saucepan with half liter of water. The water should cover the plants and let them to boil for about 15 minutes. I put them on the fire for 15 minutes, then I complete that. After 15 minutes on the fire, now it's well done. I put it with the, the knife after it become cold. Now it's cold, not hot. I mix it, the garlic with the salt and the red chili pepper together. I take a piece of them. I put inside the plant like this. Then I squeeze a lemon. I put it in a plate with a knife. This is the upper gene eggplant uh, or eggplant pickle at the end. It's a very nice and so delicious. I hope you enjoy watching the video and try to enjoy it. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and tell me your opinion about it. Please activate the bell icon uh, to know that I upload a new video. Thank you. Hello everybody, now I'm Chino Dan Cooking. Today we learn how to make beans with egg. I have uh, some be uh, beans, I do I throw uh, an egg, I beat the egg, salt, black pepper and a piece of butter. I put a spoon of uh, butter. Then I add the egg. I hope you try doing this recipe. It's very delicious. Mm. 
Then I add the beans. Then I add the beans now. And mix them. I put the salt and black pepper. Now the beans with egg, well done. I hope you try doing this recipe. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and tell me your opinion about the video. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn the Cooking. Today I'm going to do a healthy food. It's green salad. I have tomato, cucumber, green pepper, onion, cabochi, uh, this green, uh, they are roca and celery and parsley. I have olive uh, uh, oil, olive oil. The spices I have salt, black pepper, cumin, and red chili pepper. In a dish, I cut all these ingredients together. I cut them into small pieces like this. These green vegetables are very healthy. I hope you enjoy watching the video. And if you like the video, please subscribe the channel. You will find a lot of videos in the channel. Because uh, sweets, a lot of different kinds of food. I cut the tomato into slices, chop that. Then I cut the cucumber. Then the onions, I chop that. You can find a lot of sweets, a lot of juice in the channel. Any pickers you want, you can find in the channel. And finally, I cut kabuchi. Then I bought the spices. 
and the green oil, the olive oil. I mix them together with a spoon. You can see the color is so beautiful. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and tell me your opinion about it. I hope you enjoy watching the video and subscribe in the channel. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we will do any ketchup at home. The ingredients I have tomato cutting into slices, a tomato sauce, a onion which cutting into a big pieces. Uh, cinnamon and the uh, cloves ground salt and sugar and finger we put all the ingredients in a big pan on the fire for one hour tomato with tomato sauce finger all the ingredients I put it on the fire for one hour and I come again. On I put it on a low fire, a low heat. After one for hour on the fire, I turn off the fire and let it to be cold. Now I put it in the mixer to be like juice, but I first get out the the cinnamon and club the ground. I now put it in the mixer and I come again. After I hit it in the electric mixer, now I use the strainer to pure the ketchup. After I pure the ketchup, I put again on the fire for another 10 minutes to be thick and heavy. After 10 minutes you will uh, see the ketchup ready now the ketchup uh, becomes very thick you can see very thick and heavy uh, it becomes cold I put it in a jar to put in the fridge You can use the ketchup uh, as any kind of food. The children will like it. If you like the video, subscribe the channel. If you have any comments, write it to me. Thank you. Welcome everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll do a new recipe. We'll learn how to make kosher with yellow lentils. The ingredients I have, two cups of rice, one cup of yellow lentils, two big spoons of oil, one cup of water, and one small little spoon of salt. I, I take the rice and the lentils, I soak the rice and lentils together in water for 30 minutes. Then I come again. Now, in a medium boot, I heat the oil over medium heat. Then add the cup of water with salt and let them uh, to boil. Now the water is boiling, I will add the rice, I wash the, the rice for three times as you can see until the starch uh, is disappeared and the color is clear. 
I put the rice with wisdom into water. Then I stir them together. I cover the pan for five minutes. Once all the ingredients have come up to the boiling, reduce to a similar a similar cup. Cover and cook for uh, twenty minutes. Now I cover the pan for five minutes. After five minutes, you can see. The water disappeared. I lose the heat and leave the rice with lentils for uh, about 20 minutes, another 20 minutes. I cover again and leave them for another 20 minutes. The kushiri with yellow lentils is ready. It's well done. I can prepare a dish. Uh, we can eat with eggs, with uh, potato, fried potato, with salad, as you like. You can eat it as you like. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. If you have any comments, write it. I hope you try doing this kashari with yellow lentils. I hope you doing it. You will find it very nice. Thank you. Welcome our audience in the channel Learn the Cooking. Today we do lentil soup. The ingredients I have one piece of potato, carrots, two, two pieces of tomatoes, onions, lentils, 25, uh, 250 grams of lentils and the spices I have salt, curdan and black pepper and I have a butter. I have a boiling water. I put all the ingredients. I put the tomato. I put the, uh, the potato. And the carrots. Then I bought the lentils. I leave uh, these ingredients on the fire for 30 minutes. After that, after 30 done. minutes, the lentil soup is ready. Now I mix it in the electric mixer. And hit it to be a juice, and I will I use it. a piece of butter to fry the, the onion. Then I use a strainer to cure the lentil soup. I turn on the flame, high flame. After it fried, the color of the onion changes into brown. I pick some of lentils to put on it. Then pick. I turn off the flame. I keep this to put on the lentils. Then I put the spices, salt, black pepper, coriander. Now, so ready, I finished the lentil soup. It has a lot of uh, vitamins, carbohydrates, So healthy. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. 
if you have any comments please write it I hope you enjoy watching the video and try doing it thank you everybody in our channel learn cooking today we'll learn how to make mozzarella cheese at home it's very simple and easy I have one kilo of milk uh, it's a fresh milk I didn't uh, pile it one a spoon of vinegar vinegar and half of phlegm when the uh, milk is cold I put the vinegar and I squeeze the lemon in a string this way gives you a very good uh, result using a wooden spoon I stir I stir for about five minutes. After five minutes, I turn on the heat. I still stir. I continue if you like the video please subscribe the channel we have a lot of uh, food in the channel a lot of receives desserts fruit uh, juice bakeries please write me your comments about the videos tell me your opinion You can notice that the cheese starts to con con uh, consist. As you can see. I collect it together. The medium should be uh, the the fire should be medium medium heat.
you can follow me and do these steps you will get a good result I collect them in one side one kilo give you about a uh, 250 degree uh, 50 kilogram 250 gram of mozzarella cheese I continue to stir until it becomes sticky. We can use this water or this milk, the rest of milk, to make pickers. You should follow these steps. To get this nice, uh, this nice result, you should, the, should, uh, the milk should be buffalo milk, not cow milk. You can see I have a bowl of mozzarella cheese. When it's sticky like this, it's well done. I put it in a cloth like this. To get out of any milk it has. It shouldn't have any milk. Now you sticky I leave it cold and then uh, I will come again when the mozzarella cheese be cold I cut it in small pieces you can make mozzarella cheese at home give you a nice and and a very good result more better than you buy from the shops as you can see, it's wonderful, it has a fantastic
you can see the mozzarella cheese. You buy the mozzarella cheese from the shops like this. It I hope you try buying this receipt at home. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. I want to tell me your opinion about the video. I hope you activate the bell icon to, learn, to know uh, that the video is ready.